I present to you the coolest, most useless thing to hit the cave this year. Hey folks, Ray from DCRayMaker.com here. I'm down in the cave today and I just got a box shipped from the US that I'm super excited about. So you know how like when you're going online, you're shopping, you're, you're finding stuff, you're maybe on Amazon and you're poking around and you put something in your cart and leave it there and then your wife, the girl, someone else finds it and looks at you and like just denies your purchase of that thing. Um, that happens sort of a lot and, and usually it's things that quite frankly I probably didn't need anyways but had I been faster on the click, I probably could have got it you know, to the checkout process and I wouldn't have got the rejection along the way. Um, this time, I skipped the rejection part. So I got fast enough, I, I clicked, I clicked buy and done and before she even knew what happened, I got it. Uh, and so here is the coolest thing for the cave that I got that is completely and totally useless but so useful at the same time. Ready? Here we go. Yes, folks, it's a stoplight. Not just any stoplight, it is the Yacker Tracker stoplight. What on earth is that, you may ask? This stoplight will actually tell me how loud these trainers are. More than that, it'll assign a simple three color coded system, red, yellow, and green for trainer volumes. And that's because more or less, the trainers fall into three different categories. Red being way too loud for anything. Um, yellow being, why is there something beeping? Hmm. The treadmill wanted part of this. Yellow being, that's okay, that's kind of the norm for, for treadmills or trainers, sorry, now this can get me all distracted. And then green being, that's really damn quiet. Uh, so hopefully something like the Tax Neo falls into that, uh, maybe this Elite Drivo unit here, um, where I suspect yellow is kind of your average trainer. That's gonna be something like the kicker, not that the kicker's average, but average in noise. Um, and then red, red that special category. That's where we're gonna have to pull at things like wind uh, trainers, something like the, uh, the Revbox or uh, the Le Mans uh, Revolution Pro, things that are just beastly loud. Uh, so let's get started here. Um, I have not opened this yet. This is like playground in the cave. Uh, we're going to pop it open. We'll take our, this is from the tour like three or four years ago. The girl chased a uh, Carrefour van up the hill. I'll put a link down below to where her actually doing that. Um, it's pretty crazy. Up Alpe d'Huez actually, she chased this thing up the hill and finally got it and they gave her it. So pretty cool. Uh, anyways, back to our Yacker tracker. Probably telling me to stop talking. So we got some stuff. There we go. More stuff. I'm not sure what that is yet. Uh, cardboard, we don't need more cardboard and the Yakka Tracker and some manuals. Uh, says perfect uses include K-12 classrooms. Nope. Libraries, town halls, and polling places. Nope. Uh, visual aid for the hearing impaired. Nope. Teach voice projection. Probably not. Uh, visual cue for debate teams. Spelling bees under monitor competitions. Nope. Corporate training events, nope. Uh, university teacher prep, drama departments, hospitals, safety. This is not at all gonna, no. It's something totally new this time. It's all good. These instructions are pretty vast actually. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, there's a really a lot of details here. So it's, there's a siren. I can actually turn on a siren if this thing gets too crazy. Uh, the noise gets too loud. So this tells me uh, it's, different AC adapter and hopefully it works over here in Europe because it would really suck to kill it in one shot. Most importantly, let's get this thing out of its plastic bubble. Does that not look beautiful or what? That is awesome. Okay, and 100 through 240. Sweet, we are good to go. Okay, so we got that there. I need to find a power doohickey to get this to there. So up to the pile of random crap. There we go. There we go, a little power strip. That should do the trick. And I need an adapter because it's US based. So grab this. Oh, just adapter. There we go. So, going slightly out of the way here, I'll be back in two seconds. Got to find the other power cord thingy. There we go. And that is there. Plugging this in. I now have a lot of crap plugged into this one power strip. And this 
here we go. Moment of truth. Plug this in. Where's the plug? Oh, there we go. Okay, power on. We got a red light, green. Uh-oh, it says I'm talking, yellow. And that's too loud, apparently. We're gonna need to, we're gonna need to fix that. So green, yellow, yellow, and that's, that's again too loud. So we've got a, so decibel level here, it uh, looks like different levels, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 110. So typically speaking on trainers, uh, what I've found in the past is that most of them are gonna sit between 65 and about 72, 73 in their average mode. Now with trainers, the most important thing is that not at all your power output, but your speed. Uh, so whether it be the kicker here, or the drive-o, or anything else, the faster you go, the more noise it makes. It's as simple as that. Um, and so when you want to decrease noise, you decrease your speed. Uh, now in erg mode, you don't actually have a, a reliance on speed. You can go ahead and just increase or decrease your power output as you see fit, um, and you can keep your gearing exactly the same, and the speed will stay the same. So if you're in erg mode, which means you're like setting a preset wattage, like 250 watts or 300 watts, uh, you can go ahead and do that and just pick the, the slowest uh, gear combination you have. So typically speaking, that's a small ring in the front and a small ring in the back, um, which is cross chain, so you may wanna tweak that slightly so you don't hear any chain noise, and that'll be the quietest thing you've got. Um, now this entire time, it's probably telling you that I'm yellow, uh, which is great. Now if I go ahead and shout here, I hope to get the red, maybe, no? There we go, so that's red. So I think, right now I have it set for 70 decibels. I'm assuming from this whole thing that that means it is the, uh, 15 but okay, so here it says green light stays lit until noise goes above set level determined by user. So that'd be this right there. Um, so, so I put it 70 decibels. I'm probably gonna put it down to 60. Because that's kind of what I want to measure here. So 60 is where I consider really darn quiet. Uh, so I'm gonna see if this will work for my theory. Now at this point I'm really close, I'm kind of talking to it. So I'm here you go, I'm, I'm whispering a little more. Uh, it's a little above, above 60. Um, so anyways, it's gonna say, okay, we're gonna have to go to 70 for the moment. Uh, determine the appropriate level of noise, blah, blah, blah. When sound level reaches 15 decibels above the set level, the red light and siren sound come on. User can choose to turn the siren sound off. That is not at all gonna be fun. Uh, recommended average classroom setting, 70 to 80 decibels. It does not say anything about trainer settings. Disappointing. Uh, volume, we are definitely gonna turn this siren way up because the siren's pretty darn cool. Hello, siren, come on. Hello, hello, siren. <coughs> much, much better. Okay, so at this point, we are green. I'm gonna turn this slightly uh, so I can hear how this sounds. I'm gonna start over here. I recognize this is slightly further away from this particular trainer, uh, but that's all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm not in cycling shoes, I don't really care. It's besides the point here. And I'm just gonna go quiet and we're gonna listen to this and get a decent gearing. So it's green, not too bad. My speaking turns it to yellow. Okay, so that's pretty darn quiet. Now we got the kicker. Again, I know this is closer. Uh, I guess to make it even, we can do this. We'll move it over here. This makes it even, I suppose. My bad. And here we go. There we go, yellow. Now, if I do an interval here, let's go and get to the big ring. Totally cross-chained right now. There we go. Also, the red light is the indication I need to fix my shifting. So, I am now ready and armed for trainer season. I've got a bunch of trainers that... Really? Anytime now. I've got a bunch of trainers ready to go, a bunch you cannot see just out of the frame here. Okay, okay, it's all right. 
So stay tuned on this channel. Uh, we've got Eurobike coming up in about two weeks here uh, from August 28th-ish to beyond that. Uh, and that's why I expect a bunch of new trainers to be announced, including a bunch that are just right there. Uh, so it'll be good times. Again, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you get those videos the second they launch. Have a good one.